Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you are here for today's video because it is time for another freshie tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a super cool trick where you can decorate your freshies with mica pigment powder. So if you're ready to see how I made these, then keep watching. Alright y'all, so for these freshies, you're going to need your basic car freshie supplies. So I already have some aroma beads that are already cured and ready to be baked. So aroma beads with fragrance oil, mica pigment powder. They've been curing for about a week, week and a half or so. And I use four ounces of aroma beads to a one ounce of fragrance oil ratio. Now you're also going to need whatever color of mica pigment powders you're gonna be using. I'm also gonna be using some paint brushes to kind of play with my mica pigment powder, but you could even use just like a Q-tip if you wanted to, or use a little spoon to drop your mica pigment powder into the molds. You're also going to need what Ever silicone molds you're wanting to use. So I have these two that I got from Amazon and then the pretty one is from my website. You're also going to need a baking sheet and some roofing nails or an eye screw to create the hole in your freshie. And then your regular string or elastic cord that you hang your freshies with along with your packaging of course. All right y'all, I'm so stoked to show you this so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I went ahead and set my oven to 300 degrees. So while that's preheating, we'll go ahead and get Get started. So the mica pigment powders that I'm going to be using today are super pigmented. I love these. I found them on Amazon in like a pretty big pack and variety of colors and they're by the hippie crafter. So I'll be sure to link this along with all of my other supplies down in the video description below for you guys. So I think I'm going to kind of just like play around with these. So I just have a little bit of mica pigment powder in here and I'm just going to kind of drop it around in there and I'm gonna show you some like different effects that you can get by doing this. Okay, on this one, I'm going to be kind of using my brush and brushing it around my mold a little bit. And it's gonna give us a really cool effect once we bake our freshie. And then these two, I'm just going to leave them as is. Okay, in this one, I have some like pretty thick little globs. So I'm just gonna turn my mold upside down, tap it so the excess mica pigment powder kind of falls off there, and then we'll be ready to pour our beads in. Look at all that excess mica pigment powder. Looks pretty cool though. Okay, so now that I'm done with that and my oven is preheated to 300 degrees, now I'm ready to bake my freshies for about 17 to 18 minutes. All right, y'all, so it has been about 18 minutes, so our freshies are completely done. As you can see, they are not sticking to my fingers at all. So now I'm just gonna take my silicone molds, go around and kind of push down all those jagged edges so that I don't have to trim those with scissors later. And then just to make sure that we pick up all of those details in the bottom of the silicone molds, I'm gonna take a damp paper towel and I'm just going to press down on my beads so that we can really press them into those details down there. All right, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna let my freshies completely cool down before we're ready to demold them and finish decorating them. All right, y'all, so now we are ready to demold our freshies now that our molds are completely cool to the touch. And we will see how they all turned out. All right, we'll do this little smiley first. So this one I just used like a few colors, the pink, red, orange, and yellow. 
and look how cool that looks. Okay, in this one I did all the colors and we tapped off the excess and that is our result. That one looks so cool too. It's kind of like a tie-dye effect almost. And then last but not least is this larger freshie and this is the one where we kind of used our makeup brush to kind of spread around the mica pigment powder around the mold which gave it that effect. So with this one, you can't really tell that the beads are white underneath here. And this one, we still have our white background behind our mica pigment powder. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference there so you can kind of play around and do which one you think looks better. And now for the fun part and my favorite part, we're gonna be decorating our freshies, making them even more beautiful with some acrylic paint and some puffy paint and maybe a touch of glitter. Okay, this one I am doing with just plain matte acrylic paint that is white obviously. Okay, in this one I'm gonna be using black puffy paint, but I'm gonna be sprinkling some fine glitter over that. Now, fair warning, when you do touch your freshies that have a lot of excess mica pigment powder on them, you will have mica pigment powder all over your hands, so just be careful and aware of that. Okay, and this one, I am also using my black puffy paint again, and I'm gonna be putting fine glitter on it. But instead of using the silver holographic fine glitter, I'm gonna be using just some plain black fine glitter. Okay, now I'm gonna set my freshies aside and let them completely dry. Okay, so now that all of our freshies are completely dry, we're just gonna brush off all of the excess glitter on the ones that do have glitter, and then we can tie on our elastic cords and screw in the eye screw into this freshie. All right, y'all. Well, there you have it. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video, but you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.